Back in Israel, students and staff at a college in southern Israel cleaning up the damage after more flaming kites launched from Gaza wreaked havoc and destruction yesterday. The wave of terror kites continues. Firefighters yesterday alone battled fires in 10 different locations, including Sapir College. Over the last eight weeks, more than 250 fires have been recorded. Let's go now live to our Area 11 Waldman. He is live for us in Stayrote, where many of these fires have broken out. Ariel, does Israel's government or the military really have a specific plan to address this growing kite terror crisis? So I want to give you some idea of what the interception rate has been on these kites and why it's making it so difficult to intercept them or any real plan to deal with them. 600 kites, more than 600 kites now have been launched from Gaza. 400 of them have been intercepted and upwards of 200 now have landed in Israel and caused damage like that which you see around me right now. I want to give you a sense of the scale here. This used to be a field full of wheat. Now it is nothing more than a field full of ash. And there have been 250, as you mentioned, sites all around Israel's southern border that look almost exactly like this right now. And the military is having some problems stopping this for a very simple reason. It's difficult to track where these might come from, when they might start, because it's a very primitive technique. Taking a kite, attaching a bottle of Molotov cocktail gasoline to it, launching it over the border and letting the wind do the rest of the work, which means that the Israeli military is looking at other possibilities to deal with this. You know, just yesterday, the internal security uh, chief said that they were looking at possible targeted assassinations of Hamas leaders as well as anybody firing these kites as a possible solution to damages like this. But the ultimate problem here is you take entire fields of productivity in the south and you turn them into ash instantly. Now, witnesses here at Sapir College across the street saw a kite land in the field and mere moments later, this entire area engulfed in flames. Within 15 minutes, it was out. But in those 15 minutes, acres and acres of ground completely destroyed. $1.5 million of damage in total from these kites. And from the looks of things, there's no sense of stopping anytime soon. All right, Ariel, thank you so much for that live report and a demonstration, really, of the damage left behind in a matter of minutes. Thank